Hey guys, what's up? In this YouTube video, I'm going to talk about the Apple iPhone 6 Plus. The Apple iPhone 6 Plus is now official. It's built around a 5.5 inch IPS LCD display with a Retina HD resolution uh, that is 1920 to 1080 pixel. Uh, in other words, called as 1080p resolution. And the pixel density is 400 ppi and ios 8 has been tweaked to take full advantage of the larger display but the back of the iphone 6 is made of Andor's aluminium and stainless steel frame on the phone uh, which ensures it, its rigidity uh, the user interface has been optimized to take advantage of the large screen uh, and it offers split screen mode in several apps like uh, ideal leak suggested the new 64-bit Apple A8 chipset uh, powers the iPhone 6 Plus uh, is built using the 20nm manufacturing process and while still offering 25% more CPU power and 50% GPU boost, uh, both the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus support 20 LTE bands as well as Vivo LTE connectivity is further improved with Wi-Fi 802.11 AC. Wi-Fi calling is also a nice feature. Uh, which will work on T-Mobile in the US and E in the UK. At the back, the iPhone 6 Plus uses familiar 8 megapixel ISAT camera with two dual LED flash. The pixel size is 1.5 and the aperture is f/2.2. Most importantly, the iPhone 6 Plus has an optical image stabilization uh, faster in the iPhone. There is also a new sensor called Focus Pixels, which helps the camera to focus faster and better than before. It's a part of the A chip, uh, which also included a powerful imaging signal processing designed by the Apple. The camera records 30 and 60 frames per second. Uh, there is also slow motion shooting available through a 240 frames per second. The life for the new iPhone 6 will be equal or better than the iPhone 5S. Uh, it will do up to 14 hours of talk time aside from the regular GSM calling. It supports a voice or LTE and Wi-Fi calling as I had said previously. And the M8 coprocessor succeeds the M7 and is coupled with a barometer. The two accurately tag changes in elevation, and we can see count the steps have taken. And the Apple iPhone 6 and Apple iPhone 6 Plus are here, and the camera samples are shown in the video. And good news is that camera has been improved hugely with the face detection. Apple calls this as focus pixels, autofocus that is much faster, but Apple has not changed the 8 megapixel resolution uh, that allows the company to use fairly large 1.5 U uh, pixels. Uh, this is something that Apple has explicitly said that it thinks affects the image quality very hugely. And while others jumped into 13 megapixel cameras, uh, most have sacrificed pixel size unit to 1.1. Apple is obviously not taking this route. The iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus both have new sensors and, and uh, the aperture on the main side camera is f/2.2. Uh, you have you now have panoramas with even larger quality. You can now capture panoramas up to 43 megapixels. In terms of video, the iPhone 6 camera can capture up to 1080p at either 30 frames or 60 frames per second. And its slow motion capabilities including a 240 frames per second at 720 pixels the 4.7 inch iphone 6 is graced with digital image stabilization while the larger 5.5 inch uh, iphone 6 plus gets optical image stabilization the front facing uh, the front facing hd camera has got a new sensor on a larger f 2.2 aperture that allows 80 percent more light to pass through uh, this is about the Apple iPhone 6 Plus camera. Uh, thanks for watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.